developments now on NBC26. How many people would like to have live next door to a person who was convicted of killing somebody else? Neighbors of a small Brown County community up in arms tonight after the Sheriff's Department says 58-year-old Roy O'Neill, convicted of sexual assault and second-degree murder, will move back into that area. Tonight, deputies held a notification meeting where people voiced their concerns on their new neighbor. NBC26's Alex Hagan was there, and he joins us live at 10 with more. Cassandra, court records show O'Neill has received enough treatment to live in this community. Now, neighbors, on the other hand, they believe this area is not a suitable place for him. Neighbors in the town of Humboldt sexual assault of a child and homicide are just now learning there is no contact with the victim about their newest resident tonight. How do they monitor that exactly? Carlene Martin's a mother of six has some concerns about Roy C. O'Neill. It's frightening that it's right up the road from us. Who will live at this home on New Franken Road. O'Neill was convicted of sexual assault and second degree murder in Milwaukee County more than 40 years ago. Once neighbors learned of his move in, a firestorm started on social media. We've put up with sex offenders, and you know, the homicide's the big thing. So the sheriff's department held a meeting to notify everyone he will be under strict, direct supervision. Let's get the community's involvement uh, to know where he's residing, to know that uh, what the restrictions are on that individual, and then we can use them as our eyes and ears. O'Neill will be placed this Friday. It's a big concern that. He's going to come walking down the railroad track. And public safety is deputy's top priority. Now, some more information on O'Neill. He was released from prison in 1991, but less than a year later was charged with exposing himself at a shopping mall. He has been in a treatment center since 1996. Alex Hagan, NBC 26.